Hello and welcome to the first chapter of the detailed systems descriptions of the Tupolev 154. The first chapter will cover the advanced operation of the APU system and will be done on an engineer training program, which might be a little bit more complex than your version of the Tupolev on Flight Simulator. However, Project Tupolev or Microsoft Flight Simulator is an extremely complex aircraft and this information will enable you to use it at fault potential. The soon to be released Tupolev for X-Plane will also be advanced enough for these procedures. Now I will describe the APU operation in detail. The APU is located on the starboard side of the engineer's panel over here, also called as the TA6A, the SU. The APU gets air from a ventral intake with door scoop and exhausting through a door lined up with the starboard pylon leading edge. The APU provides self-contained engine starting, ground power supply and air conditioning. It features a three-stage actual compressor and three-stage turbine, an AC generator and a DC generator and starter. In Russian, the APU is named VSU. It means auxiliary power plant. The APU can be operated between minus 60 degrees Celsius and plus 60 degrees Celsius and up to altitudes of 3000 meters. Now I will describe the APU control panel in detail. This is the APU master start switch. Up, start, down, off. This is the APU mode switch. Up, start, down, warm up run. This is the APU bleed air selector. Up, bleed air, down, closed. The APU start button, the APU stop button, the engine start levers are supposed to be in front of the APU panel but are not in this particular simulation. This is the um, APU light control button to check that the lights of the APU are working. The APU signal light system, which I will describe as the left side in red and the right side in green. On the left red side, this is the low oil level, low oil pressure, maximum temperature, maximum revolutions and the APU malfunction light will also light up if the APU is shut down above 3000 meters. On the right side light in green, the APU door opened, fuel pressure ready to start and APU working mode, which will light up about 90% revolutions. This is the APU revolutions gauge, the APU oil temperature, and the APU exhaust gas temperature. Now, I'm going to show you the preparation for APU start on the ground. I will establish ground power and battery power, which is necessary and will not be done in a correct way and will be covered in a later chapter. The ground power is now on and connected to circuit. Before you start the APU, you have to check and set the fire prevention system, but will not be done here, as the main purpose of this lesson is the APU system and not the electrics or the fire control. In the real aircraft, before starting the APU, you have to establish communication on the interphone with ground crew. Now. Turn the APU master starter switch to on and observe the APU door open light and check for no low oil pressure light 
and no malfunction light. APO door is open. And it's ready to start. Set the APU start wall to position start and check that the fuel pressure light comes on, which is shown here. Press the start button for 2 to 3 seconds and simultaneously start the stopwatch, but in this simulation there is no stopwatch available. Supervise the starting process on the revolution indicator, light signal board and on the stopwatch, which we don't have over here. The APU working mode light will come on when the APU is started, and now as the revolutions indicator has reached 100 RPM, the APU is now working. To connect bleed air on the ground, press the bleed air selection switch to the up position for about uh, 7 to 8 seconds until the signal light, ready to start, is off. In this simulation, it went a little bit faster than usual, and it's indicated over here. Now, connecting the APU to the main circuit board is done by flipping this switch to the on position and the light will come up when the APU is providing power. Now ground power can be disconnected. The APU is now providing power to the airplane. To shut down the APU on the ground Turn the bleed air and the electric power consumers off. Red start light comes on. Press the APU stop button for 2 to 3 seconds and disconnect the APU from the circuit system. The airplane is now powered by ground power while shutting down the APU. Set the APU mode data switch to warm up position and observe fuel pressure light comes off. Now, as the revolution indicator has reached zero, you can turn off the APU completely by turning the APU master switch to position of occlusion. And now, the APU door light, sh light should extinguish as well as the ready to start light. Now, the APU is fully off and powered by ground power. I know that this tutorial might not have been very clear and there might be some uh, errors with the English language, but I do believe it is enough for you to be able to operate the APU and they will get better in the later sections. There might be a situation in where you have to start the APU in the air. Starting the APU in the air is not very different from the ground and is usually done as such in the case of an engine failure. To start the APU in the air, set the APU start switch to start and check light for APU doors open and ready to start light to come on and also check for no low, low oil pressure light and no APU malfunction light. 
Set the APU start wall to position start and check the fuel pressure light to come on. Press the APU start button for 2 to 3 seconds and simultaneously start the stopwatch. To provide the starting process and the revolutions indicator, light signal board and time. The APU working mode light is now on and the APU is working. The APU is now providing power to the aircraft.